everyone. Thanks for checking in. This is Howie Fisher from Fisher's Flies. I'm going to be tying a high-vis balloon caddis in black. This is a great pattern for spring. Imitates a small black caddis or a small black stonefly, as well as a few other patterns out there. I'm going to be starting with a size 18 dry fly hook in the vise. This is just a standard dry fly hook for thread. I'm going to be using Semperfly Nano Silk in 12 aught or 50 denier. Uh, you could use standard 70 denier if you'd like as well. Uh, for the ribbing on this fly, I'm just going to be using a single strand of crystal flash in crystal. Uh, for the body, I'm going to be using black CDC. Uh, you can use black CDC dubbing if you'd like. I just like to uh, strip the fibers off the um, off the feathers you can see here and put them on uh, with a little wax. If you use wax, uh, just low tack, it makes it a little bit easier for those fibers to stay on there. I'm going to go ahead and make a small dubbing noodle. doesn't need to be tight because I'm going to be wrapping that uh, crystal flash around it. And uh, the looser it is, a little bit more buggy it looks. So I'm just going to wrap that forward. I'm going to leave a little bit of space for the, uh, the head of the fly, as you can see. Then I'm going to counter wrap this crystal flash to really make sure the CDC stays secure. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but if you wrap it the same direction, it really isn't doing a whole lot. It's just wrapping in between the dubbing wraps. So make sure you counter wrap that. It'll make that fly and that dubbing a little bit more durable. For the underwing, I'm going to be using two black CDC feathers. I like to use uh, two feathers for at least one or two different flies. Uh, you can uh, reuse it so you're not wasting them or just use the leftovers for the dubbing on a, on a new one of these. Uh, for the foam piece, uh, I'm going to be using a small piece of black 2 millimeter foam. I'm going to start with tying the tip of this in backwards, as you can see here, because I'm going to want to pull, I'm going to end up pulling that, that foam back over to create that balloon. I'm going to hit this with some more um, CDC fibers or CDC dubbing to create the thorax. And then once you get it wrapped back to about uh, a third of the way down the shank, you can pull that foam back over, as you see here, secure it down with just two or three wraps. Uh, again, a piece of two millimeter foam in orange this time, just gonna give it two or three wraps to make sure it's secure. And from there, I'm gonna whip finish. Uh, you really don't need a whole lot more wraps in this. Uh, don't wanna build up or, or, or do anything too crazy. It'll still uh, be durable. Then I'm gonna snip both pieces of foam to length. And uh, there you have it. I like to go ahead and hit those wraps with either just a small dab of glue or UV resin. Enjoy.